we are back thanks for clicking on the link welcome to good energy enjoy the content and everyone have a blessed day Welcome to Good Energy, and we're back at the U.S. Open Series, where all roads lead to New York City. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we have a Cincinnati Masters Final to be played. $400,000 up for grabs and 900 points, and these two ladies mean business. Petra Kvitova, who's no stranger to winning 29 championships, she's going for her 30th. And Caroline Garcia, the first French woman to come through the qualifiers and make this final. Let's get into it. These two ladies have played a total of eight times and Petra Kvitova owns the head to head. You think Caroline Garcia was her property. But Caroline Garcia is a person. She's got feelings too. Can she get a little bit of love? Caroline Garcia is on a hot streak. She's playing amazing tennis. Caroline Garcia has won nine of her last ten matches. And coming through qualifiers, she's won six matches in a row, which leads her to the finals. Caroline Garcia has got a couple championships on the year. She's 34-15. and 15. This is her best season in terms of wins since 2008. It's been a long time coming, sweet Caroline. She's 10 and 8 on hard this year. She had a great clay swing, 11 and 3. And Caroline Garcia swings the racket for the fences and hopes to hit home runs every single time. Even Ken Griffey Jr. missed a few times, but not sweet Caroline. Caroline Garcia leads the tour in aces, and she's averaging a whopping six aces per match. Caroline wins 78% of her service games, 26% of her return games. She gets 70% of her first serves in play, and she wins them. She breaks opponents when they're pressured at 41%, and she is saving a whopping, a astonishing, a amazing 65% of her own break points and if she wants to win this match that might have to be 70. Caroline Garcia has defeated four top 10 players this season and that's the most by any player outside of the top 10. We saw her defeat Sabalenka in the semifinals, Jessica Pegula in the quarterfinals, Elise Mertens, Maurice Zachary, Petra Marchik, Andrea Petkovic, and Diane Perry at the Cincinnati qualifier. Caroline Garcia defeated Iga Swiatek in her hometown and sent her Hacking. Caroline Garcia's ground strokes are very powerful and she's playing with confidence she hasn't had in a very long time. We saw Caroline Garcia dominate Pagula with four aces only making two double faults and she is winning an astonishing 81% of her points on the first serve. She had four break opportunities against Jessica Pagula and won three of them. Sabalenka she moved from front back side to side and broke her down with 13 break opportunities converting six of them. Those are amazing numbers. Like I said, she's playing the best tennis of her life and can she beat Petra is the million dollar question. Petra is no stranger to winning with 629 wins in her career, two grand slams, and 29 championships. Only Serena and Venus have more championships on tour, but like boys to men, they've announced it's the end of the road. Petra's 22 and 15 on the season, 1 and 4 on clay. That was a horrible stretch, but 13 and 8 on hard, and she's finally getting it going again. She revved up the engine in this tournament, defeating Teichman, saving a match. Point. She beat Serana, Anshabur, Isla Tomjanovic, and Madison Keys in the semifinal. Madison Keys has a big racket, and Caroline Garcia is going to have to emulate that as she has any chance to win this match. The last time these two ladies played was 2019 Madrid and Petra beat Garcia in straight sets. Petra's averaging four aces per match. She's winning 73% of her service games, 29% of her return games. She gets 68% of her first service in play and wins them. Petra breaks opponents at 50% when they're in pressure spots and she is saving a whopping 58% of her own break points. Petra's playing an amazing tournament. She's playing phenomenal. Against Madison Keys, she hit four aces, but she committed 10 double faults. Nine good. She won 81% of her first serves and had 12 break opportunities against Maddie, converting on 5. When she played Isla Tomjanovic, she had 12 aces, only 4 double faults. She won 74% of her first serves and 6 break points. Petra Kvitova is the more dominant player here. She's left-handed. Her forehand is a rocket. NASA might have to regulate this in space. 
Cincinnati fans watch out. Petra Kvitova's left forehand is an asteroid. It's a comet headed straight towards Cincinnati. Listen, guys, Caroline Garcia's best defense is going to be her offense. I don't think Garcia can stop that left forehand. It's going to be uncomfortable coming from the opposite position. And like I said before, she likes to blast it at opponent's ankles. Caroline Garcia is not going to have any chance of returning that successfully. She's going to lose games. And the only way she's going to win is she's going to have to win her own games and get lucky in a tie break. How? Ever. Caroline Garcia did not get here playing timid. She's playing with the biggest confidence of her career. She's got the biggest racket on tour, blasting off the most aces, and she is unstoppable. Caroline's beat four of the top 10 players all within the last month, and Petra Kvitova is not currently a top 10 player. Caroline Garcia has all the offensive tools to make Kvitova sweat under pressure, and Kvitova is going to have to play her own defense. You guys want to lock? You want to pick? I know that's why you're listening, huh? Vida Cagnate Treblin, Garcia Repodente, La Prem Man. Or something like that. I like Caroline Garcia getting one and a half free games in the first set. That's minus 135. Take it or leave it. That's my lock. Get your own. Ten of my last 12 free tennis picks have all hit. You might even think I'm the best, but I think Queen Serena is.